All right, for a 255 megabyte download, this Slackware-based distribution has a lot, and we are talking Porteous today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. First, um, I don't know why I haven't looked at Porteous before. I've had a number of suggestions that I review this, but uh, lately um, I've just had a lot on my table with my regular job and then um, trying to do reviews, and I've been getting into a number of podcasts lately. And uh, here it is. It's Porteous. And um, one thing that surprised me is the size of this thing. It is less than 300 megs, and you get your choice of KDE or LXDE user interface with this. And um, so let's go ahead and have a look at the KDE interface here. Now, this isn't running, obviously, the latest KDE version, but the thing is... Um, it's just surprising to see all the stuff that you get with this so I'm just gonna take a quick look at the KDE and then we're gonna jump over into the LXDE side and uh, have a look at this now uh, as many of you know with my recent podcast that I had with Pingcast he is doing uh, a lot of work with Slackware so any of you guys who want tutorials on Slackware should check out his channel because uh, you know um, he, he pretty well knows his stuff with that and uh, I'm still uh, keeping my focus mostly on Arch and of course I'm also doing other things with uh, other distributions as well as time permits. Okay, uh, we're still in the boot process here and it looks like uh, we'll be in in just a moment and then uh, we'll have a quick look at the KDE here. Um, What's really interesting about this also is you can set this up to load up into memory and uh, then you can have a nice little quick snappy little system much like Puppy Linux um, which is kind of cool. Also uh, this distribution if you run it from a flash drive you can even um, enable this to uh, have a uh, persistence if you will so it will remember your settings. So this would be a good one to take with you. Uh, when you uh, are on the run, you just need a nice little Linux distribution to take with you. Okay, and as you can see here, we have a number of icons on the desktop for uh, navigating the system. And uh, this is an older version of KDE. I want to say this is version 3. <laughs> nice intro music it has playing here. Okay, and so you have a lock the session, log out, uh, time and date. Uh, you have your network indicators, you have your clipboard sound, and that sort of thing. And I can remember, yes, this is an older version of KDE that ships with this, but nonetheless, this is great. I love it. You get the Firefox, your uh, home for personal files, the console terminal program. Uh, this comes uh, with uh, desktop access, and then, of course, a standard KDE menu that gives you access to your games, and it has a number of them preloaded on here. Uh, some graphics programs. Nothing too fancy. Mostly lightweight things to work with. But the nice thing is if you install this on your system, you can uh, install uh, bigger programs like the GIMP. Okay, and then uh, in Internet, you get Firefox. There is also the Conqueror web browser, which gives you a similar experience to Internet Explorer. At least that was my experience when I was using this older version of KDE many years ago. Uh, in multimedia, it get, again, you get a number of uh, really cool programs to work with. The Audacious, uh, Gnome, MPlayer, K3B, uh, K-Audio Creator, excellent applications that are included with this. Uh, nothing too fancy in the Office arena. This doesn't include Li LibreOffice. Uh, I think LibreOffice, uh, when I saw this as a package, it's about the same size as this actual live 
discs, so I, I didn't expect that to uh, to come preloaded with that. But you do get a number of applications, as you can see here. And then, of course, you have uh, all of your settings here, uh, a number of system utilities, and other utilities as well. Let's let's log out of this and have a quick look at the. Uh, LXDE interface that you get with this. Okay, and now we're in the LXDE side, and I really like how this looks as well. Uh, the transparent, uh, the transparent uh, panel that we have down below, and pretty much the same, the same things that you would expect on the KDE side. And some people will like the lighter weight. Uh, desktop, especially if you have a need for speed, but even then, with the older version of KDE that this ships with, this is a nice little operating system to run on older hardware, so not that bloated, and uh, I feel the performance is uh, very well for this. And okay, so in accessories, you get Arc Image Viewer, KCalc, K Care Select, K Job Viewer, K Jolts, K Timer, LX Terminal, Leaf Pad. PC Man File Manager and X Archiver. You get K Asteroids, K Battleship, K Bounce, K Poker, and Patience. All these are the same apps that you'll see in the KDE side as well. You get the K Color Chooser, K Ruler, K Snapshot, K View, and Color Paint, and Internet, uh, the Firefox. Uh, you get a dictionary with this. Uh, Copy Conqueror. You get the YCD Network Manager. Good stuff here. In Office, the Dictionary, K Formula, K Office Workspace, K PDF, K Presenter, K Spread, K Word, K Write, and Kate. And then, of course, a number of other applications listed under other here. I'm not going to be able to go into all of these. And then, of course, a standard complement of sound and video, system tools. And then all of your preferences are located here. I tend to like the uh, the LXDE interface because it seems a little bit less cluttered than the uh, KDE. But all in all, very nice for what you get for a 300 meg file size. Uh, this will fit on a on even an older flash drive that you you know. So you'd be able to take this with you uh, on the run. It is a lightweight operating system. I definitely want to give this one two thumbs up. A uh, very nice operating system indeed. And this is a great way to try out Slackware. Um, pretty much that's all I have to say on Porteous. I, I really like this. And uh, if you want more information on Slackware, definitely check out my friend Pincast's channel. He has a lot more coming up. All right. Well, if you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Something else to keep an eye out for tonight, we will be recording a live show with an all-star cast. It will be a roundtable discussion with, quote, the Linux A-Team. So y'all definitely do not want to miss that one. All right. Well, that's all for now. We'll see you next time. <laughs>